I don't know if you can hear that. Can you hear that? Can you see that? I'm not just talking about the birds chirping or the crickets. Whatever crickets do. Cheeping? What the hell do crickets do? Whatever that sound is crickets make. I'm talking about that. The sound of the thunder. It's an amazing sound. I am in Theodore Roosevelt National Park. This is out of all the national parks I've gone to, which just so you know, I have not been to all of them. So those people who think I'm crazy for thinking this, just hear me out. This is my fourth favorite park. Ooh, there was lightning over there. So my first favorite park is the Grand Tetons. Most people would think I'd prefer Yellowstone over it, but nope. Something about me and the Tetons. My second one is Yellowstone. And yes, even though I'm a native of Arizona, my third one is the Grand Canyon. And my fourth one is Theodore Roosevelt. And I actually can't even tell you why I like these parks in this order or what I like best or least about each park. It's more a feeling I get in each park. Listen to that. Amazing. Um, oddly, even though I'm from Arizona and I live so close to California, I have not been to many of the California parks and that's gonna have to change. Um, I have been to Zion and I have been to Bryce, which are both gorgeous. Zion has my most favorite hikes, but um, as far as parks go, I have some sort of weird spiritual or emotional connection, something in my soul to the Tetons. Ooh, did you see that? Again, I have to show you this. I am the only person up here, even though there is somebody's car next to the RV, I don't know where that somebody is. So maybe they're out on one of these trails. I am on a hiking trail because I want to go look over the skyline to the interstate. Listen to that. I just love the sound of storms. I was at a rest stop. God, that sounds amazing. About 40 minutes ago and there were four bison at the rest stop. At the flipping rest stop. And then when you looked over the overlook at the rest stop, there were wild horses. Now I have to tell you something. So apparently all the other, oh, I wonder if that's the trail that person with the other car is on. All the other travelers are catching up to me because places to park are getting few and far between. And there's a few like the National Park campgrounds I like to stay in because most of them cost me less than 10 bucks, just so you know. This one I would like to stay in, but they think it's full. Ooh, there's another trail down there. There's a bunch of horses. <laughs> Sometimes life. Sometimes in life, there's just a bunch of horses. Not today, my friend. I hear voices. I hear voices mixed in with the thunder. I know I jump conversations. Oh, there they are. They're down there. I know I jump conversations a lot, but it's because I love this life. Look. Look at my view. Look at my freaking view. On and on and on. Hills and valleys, hills and valleys. It's just amazing. That sound has got me going. So what was I saying? Oh, I was talking about the rest stops. Oh, then when you look over, I saw wild horses. Oh, then I was talking about places to park. Well, apparently there's no place in Medora to park. There is campgrounds around here, but most of them are full. So there must be something going on with bikes because they're full with motorcycle people, which is fine. It's just they got here before I did. So I might have to go back to that rest stop and stay the night. And that's okay because I'll wake up to bison and maybe some wild horses. I don't know. Look at that view down there. Craziness. I was hoping to be able to videotape this storm coming. to be out here in the rain because, you know, I love rain. I love the storm. Oh, more thunder. Or lightning, whatever. You can hear the thunder rolling through the clouds. But I'm going to stop recording because I'm going to walk down that hill where those people are and see 
what it is they're looking at because look there's little trails everywhere and this one looks like it completely goes to the end that is where the trail led to that i told you i was going to go down i was way up there and i'm going to stop because of that crack and this stuff is not as strong as it looks it's like basically big mud balls and i can't wait to see what the rain's going to do to that look at this beautiful favorite things about here is the prairie dogs. They have prairie dogs for days, folks. Prairie dogs for days. I love these little things. I think in another video I called them hedgehogs. They're actually prairie dogs. Sorry for the mistake. I didn't know what they were. I just always forget the name prairie dog. But anyway, in Theodore Roosevelt National Park, there are thousands upon thousands of them. They have little acre cities. And here, over here, without getting my mirror totally in it, you hear them making little chirping noises but tonight they're being pretty quiet and there's buffalo poo over there too very cool and look at the buffaloes accidentally step in their houses or if they know to be cautious of them oh my god can you see it guys can you see it there is a wolf do you see him going let me see if i can zoom in more That is for sure a wolf. You can hear all the prairie dogs chirping. But there is a wolf up on that hill. That is so freaking cool. He just totally blends in with the background. That is awesome. I love these parks. Look at that. I forgot what kind of deer sort of goat thing that is, but it's just across the street. Anyway, I thought the wolf sighting was fantastic, so I went a little crazy. Sorry about that. I guess I blocked traffic, <laughs> but I didn't mean to. And I'm trying to figure out the map because there's several road closes in this park, and I don't know why they didn't tell me that when I entered. Oh, but see, you can hear the thunder again. Look at these little guys, though. And the screen is so dark that I can't tell if they're showing up. But they're all talking. They're like, look at that crazy lady with her phone. Scoping out our little town. And over here, on the other side of the road, I know it sounds weird because I told you guys about the two different <laughs> bison. Which, just so you know, the bison up here are huge compared to those other two. But... I think there's two different kinds of prairie dogs because these prairie dogs on this side of the street are bigger than the prairie dogs on this side of the street. Very crazy, but there's definitely more over here. A big old sign, do not feed the prairie dogs. But they're so cute. And I love their little noise. I wish I knew what they were saying. Not every day you see a bison crossing the road. Look at that, and look at how huge he is. And see how he's talking about... Oh, hold on, let me see if I can get him on the side. I don't know if you can see through these trees, but the tufts of his hair are different than the bison I saw down in South Dakota. And now we've got to look at his butt. We'll watch him poop like the other one. Anyway, that was pretty cool. I'm at the south entrance of the park. The south and north part of the park are not connected. Oh God, look at my messy hair. And excuse my sunburn, but it is becoming summertime. Anyway, the scenic route in this park is closed to oversized vehicles because the road actually collapsed. And apparently there's pictures on the internet, but they showed me some pictures here. So there's no further I can go than I've already gone in this part of the park. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave and head on to the north loop. I am sorry if my, what did I want to say? Oh, I'm sorry if all my recordings from here are pretty shaky, but I was getting in and out of the vehicle, doing all this kind of nonsense, trying to figure it out, and getting excited because I saw a wolf, another biasing cross the road, some deer looking thing cross the road, and of course, thousands of prairie dogs, which I love. By the way, I also saw bats, but I couldn't get the bats on video. <laughs> And I forgot that that's the other cool thing about this park is that there's lots and lots of bats. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye.